Hello and welcome to the PPD YouTube channel folks. Clyde Lindsay here from Pixel Pro Displays. It's great to see everybody again on this beautiful Twinkle Tip Friday. Yes, we're in the middle of getting ready and set up for Halloween. Christmas is coming. It's September. It's the it's the beginning of September. And if you aren't on your holiday layout set up and uh, digging in and getting things going, you might be falling behind. So, I have uh, three things that I think you should know about X lights and we're going to get right into it after this. So folks, today what I'd like to start out with is there's so many options that are in X lights and because there are it may not be clear and apparent how some of these things may be helpful as you're going through doing different things inside your layout or doing your setup or getting yourself prepared and ready for doing your show. So I have three things today that I want to start out with. The first thing, did you know that you can have two or more instances of X lights open at any one given point in time? And that is true. To do that, all I do is I go into Windows. Now, if you're on a Mac, I don't. I, there's a way to do this, but you can see here I have a number of instances here. But if I were going to open an extra instance of Windows, I would come down here to Windows on my uh, on my bar down here at the bottom of the screen, and I'd right click and I'd, I'd select another instance of X Lights. And what that'll do is it's opening up on another screen. But then why? Why would you need two instances of X-Lights open? Well, there's a number of helpful uses, and I'm going to show you a couple of them and why it's important. So the first instance I can say is here is, here is one of our demo uh, layouts, and I'm going to set this right here, and Windows likes to do that automatic thing. And I'm going to make this a little bit smaller so I can see, you know, here's my groups for my layout and stuff here. This is kind of all set up. But the nice thing is, is that you can come over and you can open up your second instance of X lights and w Windows. If you kick it over against this side there, you can have the second instance open up as well. So the benefits to doing this are a number one. Very simply, you can look at what is going on over here in this layout or you can compare it to exactly what you have going on right over here in your layout, right? So if you want to figure out how somebody else did something in their layout, you can open up and you can change directories. If you unpack their sequence, you can change directories and go set X lights to that individual directory. So if you've downloaded a sequence, if you followed some of our previous videos where we talked about file structure, you can extract the package sequence and if you extract it then you can uh, change directories in, and usually it is in your import folder which is what we tell you to create whenever you download sequences, put your downloaded sequences into your import folder that way everything stays nice and neat. But the nice thing is is that you're able to compare two different layouts. Now, if you're sequencing, this is the other nice thing. If you have a new sequence over here, we'll just say, uh, and, and you're, you're sequencing something and there's, a, there's part of a sequence that you really like from something different, or you were mapping a sequence and when you imported, you didn't get one of the effects that you really liked. So what you can do is you can go in, you can open up that sequence and manually kind of navigate or find or wherever it is and find the exact effect that you want and you can right click you can click and drag now I don't have any timing marks selected there I can copy and then I can come over here this is my column matrices well I'll put them in my column matrices let's insert a couple layers below uh, and insert layer below and you can hit control V or you can right click and you can paste and there you've just were able to take and uh, apply effects from one sequence to another sequence without having to do any mapping of any kind. And those are two of the benefits that you have certainly whenever you have two instances of X lights. Now, I, as you guys know, I have multiple screens. I've had multiple screens for well over 12 years. Way before I started ever using X lights, I've had four monitors on my computer. I have six now. The, the number of monitors doesn't matter. What matters is, is that you're able it, to consider getting a second monitor because having a full screen, because these scrunch down here, 
don't really, uh, it's not that you can't use it. I certainly can demo that, but it is so much easier to have a full instance of X-Lights on this screen and a full instance of X-Lights on this screen so that you can compare the two. So my suggestion is monitors are cheap. Go out and buy one. You can get one from Amazon. There, I mean, you're probably going to spend 80 to 100 bucks uh, just for like a 24-inch uh, monitor. You can go and get a cheap, inexpensive TV from Walmart uh, or wherever, whatever's local for you guys. The other thing, if you're on a budget and if if you're like me and you're always thinking, well, if I save money on this purchase, I can apply more to my pixel spending. And I know that's a that's every on everybody's mind. So. I'll tend to go maybe to Facebook Marketplace and look for something that somebody has used that is just fine and all I'm doing is using it as a second monitor for my X-Lite setup. Alright, the second thing that I want to share with you, and this is rather new in X-Lites, but it is certainly helpful. It was pointed out uh, uh, yesterday in a conversation with uh, Mr. Christmas 2000 and uh, he, he mentioned to me he says that, that one of our songs didn't have any timing marks in it and he was curious as to why well the the sequence never had any timing marks applied to it because that's the way the sequencer had done it for the project I was surprised too whenever they turned in the, the sequence and and as I was looking over it, I'm like, well, maybe I should add some. Well, I forgot to add some to that instance, but it brought up this great point that I get to share with you today. It's not a big point, but it's a very interesting point. So if you spend a lot of time creating an effect and setting it exactly to where it needs to go, then maybe you could use this new option that is found in X-Lights where you can convert an effect into timing marks or multiple effects into multiple timing marks. So now I have a sequence here and uh, this is one of my first sequences I ever did. What I am sh uh, concerned with is there were instances here where I know that I have this imported timing mark and it kind of doesn't line up with these effects that are here. And then I have this timing mark here where I, it shows beats. And it kind of goes the whole way, but it's not exactly. And so for whatever reason, if you find that you have some effects that don't have timing marks, now these do, but you wanted to convert those effects over into a timing grid, what you can do is you can select them, right click, and you can do uh, what is called create timing. Now notice that it's grayed out and it's grayed out for a reason that's because you have to have a timing track selected. Now I'm not going to mess with my timing track here but what I'll do is I'm going to add an empty one. I'll add an empty one, let's call it um, fun and boom. Um, you can now come in here and you can select these, right click, create timing and it's activated create timing and now you can see that you have the opportunity to add those extra timing marks if somebody didn't take the time to put those timing marks in you don't have to sit there and figure them out and use the lowercase letter T it's a nice little addition and there are a number of sequencers out there that it's faster for them just to put put the effect down and edit it and boom they got it done and they move on because when we sequence sitting there and creating timing marks it's time consuming so that might be one of the things that's absolutely super helpful to you whenever you're looking at sequences that you're either working on or somebody else made and you imported them and there's no timing marks for it okay and the last thing that I want to share with you this week on our Twinkle Tip Friday video is that you can now split effects now I know split effects has been in X-Lights for more than two years I think I think it's been in there for two years maybe a year and a half split effects was a uh, request made by a friend of mine Kathy Marker and Keith actually implemented it into X-Lights as he sat at her kitchen table when Keith was uh, visiting from uh, Australia a couple years ago whenever he was at uh, Transworld so uh, it was a very it's a very nice feature what I like to use the split effects for and I'll show you here in a second is to kind of chunk down and add a little bit more of excitement or uh, uh, beat feeling to real long and drawn out effects that might not be as interesting the way that they were put down initially so this is a way 
for you to customize some of the sequences that you may have either purchased or that you've done on your own and to quickly make these edits. So what x -Lights can do, if we go in here, I'll just go ahead and click on, uh, let's say this bars effect here, and I'm going to activate the beats. And you can see here that we have one, two, three, four, four there you go, 16 beats across this section. Um, and it doesn't look terrible, like it's not a horrible uh, look. But what if I wanted to be a little bit more exacting on what I wanted that bars to do? So now what you can do, and, and what Keith did initially was if you right clicked and you hit, uh, or you have to select the effect first, duh, and you right click and you hit uh, split timing. And what x -Lights used to do, and it would, it would split it right down the middle, right in half, wherever the middle of the effect was. Today, it, well, I don't want to say today, but recently, in one of the more recent versions of x -Lights, uh in 2024, midsummer, uh, they changed it so that no matter where you hovered over top of the effect, that if it, as long as it was selected, that's where it would split the effect. So if I was trying to split this effect, I'll scroll down there. If I was trying to split this effect, here's beat number one and beat number two, and I wanted to split it right here, I could hover right over the timing mark, right click, and oh, try it again, there we go. Right click and split effect. And so there you can see it split it. Now also, if you notice, I went uh, down here and I go to out transition, it added the out transition. Basically what x -Lights is doing is it's creating a physical copy of the main effect. It's leaving all the effect settings the same. It's just giving it a split. So maybe your out transition, you don't need it there. So maybe you need to change that to zero. Now if you don't like any of them, if you do that multiple times, uh, you can bulk edit those, so I'll show you that too. We'll click on that and right click and we'll split the effect. And if, if you don't want either of these to have that, um, to have that, you can select the one that you didn't and you can have this set to zero or change it to zero manually and then right click and bulk edit and now you get rid of all of those transitions. Uh, the, the one thing that I, uh, I have the most kind of, um, uh, a version to whenever it comes to the new way that you split the effects is it doesn't exactly snap to a timing grid and it doesn't snap to the exact center uh, of the effect. I, it would be nice if it was an option, um, but you always have to kind of reset these to exactly where you want them to be because, it, I mean, it's x -Lights is doing the best it can to, to get it where you want it, but it would be nice if it was just a touch more intelligent and say, oh, there's a timing mark, let's snap to the closest timing mark. So here you have one effect going one way and it has four cycles. Well, now that that's copied the effect. What if we bounce that down from four cycles to one cycle? And uh, let's do, actually, let's do a ha uh, 0.5 of a cycle. And then we'll come over to this one here, and we'll do 0.5 of a cycle. And even though it says expand, we can change this. This is bars. We can go from expand to compress. And now we could actually probably delete these out of here. We can copy these, select them, and we can come up here, paste by timing. And I'll go ahead and control V control V and that filled in pretty much all of those little areas there and now you can watch and see how this has changed. So that gives you a little bit more of an in the beat kind of procession and it's broken up the long per, uh, effect of using the, the bars effect there and, and you can do this to any sequence that you want. If you don't feel like there's enough beat in your sequencing, this is something you can totally do and I just showed you it takes only a couple moments to do it on your own. Well guys, I hope that this video was helpful, informative, maybe it it kind of took a little bit of the frustration of using x lights out of the way for you and maybe maybe it taught you something that you didn't already know and if you did please give us a huge thumbs up if you haven't done yet so please hit the subscribe uh, to the channel down at the bottom and don't forget to hit the bell for notifications so you never miss any of the videos that we put out here on the PPD YouTube channel if you appreciate the things that we do here at Pixel Pro Displays, consider joining the PPD Sequence Club where you get one awesome sequence from our triple play choices. We put three choices up every month just for club members. We do one of them brand new 
every single month. So there's always a new song going into the store. The other songs are songs that are already in the store or uh, possibly they, those could be new ones as well. Thank you for joining us, guys, and we will see you in the next video. Take care and goodbye for now. So today, folks, what I want to start out with is there are so many options in Exercise. There's so many uh, bleh, option, options. And don't forget to hit the bell for notifications so you never miss another Twinkle Tip Friday video or any video that we put out here on the PPD YouTube.